All right, I am on my way to do some shopping for my stockpile. Um, as many of you know, I've been kind of beating that drum for the last two years uh, since 2020. No, I'm not going to be, you know, doing like these people in 2020 with a, you know, toilet paper crisis, right? I'm basically going to be buying maybe two of things that I love and use on an everyday basis and I'm just going to put it away. And um, this is after finishing out 2021, having eaten through a lot of my stockpile and which is good. You want to do that from time to time because you want to make sure you're not wasting food, you know, that it's not expiring, sitting there in your pile, you know, you want to eat it up. <laughs> and so that was cool because the last couple months of this year, I've been really able to bring down my, my grocery bill. Uh, the downside is that when I finally got back to the grocery store, it was like shocking because I had not really done full shopping until actually maybe about last week I, I did a real deal grocery store run and when I got the bill and I looked at how many groceries I had to show for I was like this is wrong this is outrageous and I do believe it's going to continue to happen um, it's going to get worse you know I mean that's what all of the trusted economic forecasts are saying and I have to say trusted because we had a bunch of liars out there professional paid liars on mainstream media who told us that inflation was transitory right 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 right, right. like okay don't listen to those people um, I do believe it's here to stay for quite a while I think definitely through this new year 2022 and so buckle up get ready for it and I think that you know I've been encouraging people to get into investing like with crypto silver and for me stockpile is the easiest entry point because we all got to eat okay uh, you don't have to know how to do that you just know what you love and eat and then you double up on it here and there and that's just what I'm gonna do okay so some of you said well I don't have enough money to invest yes you do this is a financial strategy work it to your advantage because the dollar is losing value your buying power is being obliterated and so you can save money now by uh, buying low on items you know are going to go up in price and that's exactly what I'm going to do okay I'm leaving Aldi's right now and um, I usually go to Aldi's first um, because yeah they don't have everything but they have the best prices on organic non-gmo and so I'll show you what I got when I get home but let me say that even despite their good prices and me holding back on some stuff because I don't need it, I already have enough, or I just make my own from scratch at home, you know, it's still very pricey, very pricey. And, you know, yet at the same time, when I got the bill, I was like, what's this gonna be in six months? I ain't lying. What's, how much is this food gonna cost three to six months from now? Hell, even a month from now. And I know some of y'all think I'm getting into fear porn, and that's because you're listening to people who are telling you, nothing going on here, carry on, keep calm, carry on, nothing to see here, keep going, it's just transitory, right? We can't listen to those people. Um, I'll show you what I got when I get home. All right, so I got some family size beef salmon over there, and I was kind of down because yet again, they were out of flounder. I don't know what the deal is with flounder, but oh, well, let's roll with it. You know, supply chain shortages, maybe, who knows? But it's been going on for a while. Um, I got whole chicken, and this, this is, by the way, the cheapest way you can get chicken if you eat it. Um, I will show you how I make it in my crock pot so that there's like no waste, really, except for the bones, but out of it, you get meat and you get broth. And look, it's organic too. So I have found this is the cheapest way to get chicken. I did get some turkey bacon, not the highest quality, but damn, I cannot beat that price and my daughter loves it. So we're gonna go with it. Got some ground beef, um, shockingly, um, under $6 each. So impressed. I don't know how much longer it's gonna stay that way. 
rice broccoli cauliflower. Love the rice cauliflower from Aldi's. Nobody else does it like them, but this is new with the broccoli in there, so I'm gonna try it. I didn't get a lot of frozen veggies because I already have a lot. So I'm just kind of adding to it. I didn't go buck wild over there, but asparagus, broccoli florets, green beans. I've already got a lot in my freezer. I didn't even bother to get frozen fruit because I've already got a lot of that. I'm good on it. And these are just some random things I got, you know, for the fun of it. You gotta know when you go in and do this, you're probably gonna see some stuff that you want right now. Like, <laughs> that's always good to have on standby. And then this, my God, I haven't had this in a long time. Um, and it's great if you're craving like chocolate ice cream late at night and you don't wanna do that. And then I got some avocado dip to go with my sweet potato chips. Okay, so I'm going to let you look at what my stockpile looked like before I filled it up. And also give you some tips on just some ideas if you're putting together a clean stockpile, which is hard to find on YouTube. A lot of people are putting things in their stockpile that I don't particularly think are healthy and you have to use your own discernment about what's right and fitting for you because frankly if I think it's a great idea but you would never eat it then don't buy it right <laughs> buy what you love and what you're going to eat and you're going to enjoy this is the after um I added more maple syrup because I use a lot of it for sweetening and making my own almond milk I've got honey here jam, almond extract, already bought a bunch of vanilla extract, applesauce, I mean, I can do so much with that. It's a sweetener, you can just eat it alone, you can bake with it, my God, so much. I've got like another sweetener there, kind of some weird thing that I found on clearance. Some of y'all are gonna look at this and like, that is weird, you would stockpile that? I don't know, I'm, I'm a clearance shopper, so I see things and I'm like, I, I'll just stack that, you know? All right, artichoke hearts love them love to just eat it straight from the can or put it in the meal crushed tomatoes i need to get more of that sun-dried tomatoes capers olives banana peppers cream of mushroom and cream of chicken salsa bone broth but i really i make my own now um because those are expensive <laughs> i learned how to keep the cost down so i have a lot homemade in my freezer um almond butter mayo coconut oil these are basically like condiments and cooking oils and you know random stuff that i can cook with that i found on clearance um you, know, you always need your black pepper i didn't buy any more salt because i have a crap ton of salt actually it's not over here it's in my pantry but believe me i've got enough um these ramen noodles yeah, it's like dried goods. Okay, this would be a good thing. I got that for my daughter. She loves them. Cauliflower crackers. Quinoa chips. Just some randomness. Um, rice. I wanted to get basmati, but they were out of it today. And they had this, and I've already got it, so. Um, bunch of brown rice pasta, because, you know, my daughter, um, we don't eat gluten anymore. At least we try not to bunch of raw almonds because like i said i make my own almond milk that keeps costs down and then i've got some macadamia nuts some trail mix dried fruit they didn't have a lot of dried fruit uh to choose from today that's all i got there and then some walnuts i love nuts i cook with them I'll bake with them everything love nuts i'll eat them raw just right out of the bag love them a bunch of tea. I drink, drink tea every day, almost all day long. And then the coffee, I make my own cold brew coffee. And um, probably give you, like, I might put up a video on that sometime. But this was cool because I got two of these for the price of one, what I would normally pay at my grocery store. So, got a good deal on that. This is like leftover coconut water which you can make smoothies with. You can just drink it straight like it's a Gatorade. Yeah, it, it's very healthy for you. Evaporated coconut milk, you can bake with that. I am going to probably make, I'm gonna make a large pot of these black beans and then I'm going to like season them and all of that the way I like and then bag them and freeze them 
might share a video on that sometime because it's a lot cheaper to do that if you have the time and the patience. A lot cheaper to do that than to buy them canned. Okay, of course got the tuna fish, apple cider vinegar because my god, you know, you can do so much with that health-wise, um, hygiene-wise, baking, you can use it. And then there's some, some more pink salmon. Of course, I got some in my freezer. And then... I got some chocolate chips to bake with. Um, that's dark and that's semi-sweet because sometimes you just, I just will eat like that raw with some nuts or top it on some ice cream or um, make some cookies or something or brownies, you know, and it's great to have that on hand. Chia seeds, I have, you know, that was already there left over. You can make chia pudding with it, put it in smoothies. It's a thickener, really healthy. Um, put it on your cereal. Arrowroot, I use that. Again, also as a thickener, it's an alternative to cornstarch, like if you're making gravies or stuff like that. Um, brown rice flour as an alternative to regular flour because again we're like gluten free so some of this stuff wouldn't make sense for y'all and you're like what is that who does a stockpile like that well people who are trying to get gluten and dairy out of their diet and eat as clean as possible that would be me <laughs> okay if it doesn't work for you don't work it all right and i've got like oh crap ton of these rolled oats um you know you can make oatmeal cookies if you wanted to but i usually do overnight oats i've got a recipe on my website about that um and then the flaxseed meal which i usually put in my overnight oats um, but again you can do so much with a flaxseed to just add nutrients to your diet and so i want to share with y'all this is my informal stockpile it doesn't have hardware on it because i'm working on it somebody gifted this to me and it's like an old 1980s dresser that was ugly and nobody wanted it and then somebody else gifted me the black paint and now i guess i'm just waiting for somebody to gift me the hardware <laughs> but that's what i'm using i'm using a stockpile storage you know, it's really nothing fancy, um, you know, work with what you have. And I don't think you need to go out and spend like a crap ton of money on getting these storage systems. Like I see some people really go all out and they've got these fancy, you know, storage systems. And seriously, you could just repurpose some old furniture, make it look nice. It works well for me, to be honest with you. I didn't have to pay anything for it. And... That was Miss Kitty walking by. And I'm happy with it. So work what works for you from, you know, the storage of it and to the contents.